Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and uh, well, we have another blocker that has been removed today. Uh, we are Friday, January the 8th, 2021. So, of course, there were still a few things that were wrong with uh, the update to 20H2, October 2020 update. So, if you had a problem, because some of you forced installed and there was a problem with the uh, way that the um, user accounts are done and what it did it created a um, error where it said your PC would automatically restart in a minute and of course you couldn't access anything you were just logging in it would have that error message it would give you a like a, a 60 second delay and it would just restart well that has been resolved today and the blocker that was associated with it is also removed. So if you are on Windows 10 May uh, 2020 update or before and you were wondering why you don't see the October 2020 update, well, maybe take a little visit to the Windows update. You might see it because uh, with that blocker was uh, probably one of the biggest blockers right now. So a lot of people were complaining that that could happen uh, in some of the forced upgrades. So, of course, all of you that were in a situation where this could happen, uh, you didn't see the um, October 2020 update or 20H2. Uh, so just head on to your Windows update and check it out in a uh, update, optional updates. You might see uh, that uh, 20H2 is now available for you. Uh, and they have, of course, updated the uh, known issue page in the uh, website, the Microsoft uh, website documentation. So uh, this was done today, the 8th of uh, January, 2021. Uh, there's a confirmation also, but for both May 2020 update and October 2020 update of an error uh, or issues during or after updating devices with certain connects and audio drivers. So here it says confirmed. Um, so it seems that there are some drivers that have incompatibility issues. And uh, so of course devices with connects and uh, or synaptics audio drivers are blocked right now. Uh, they're not saying that they're working on anything. They're just saying that it's confirmed that there is a problem there. So I don't know what that will actually bring. But anyways, I'll share this page with the status page. And on the left side, you have all the known issues for different versions of Windows, by the way. So check it out. And uh, if you are waiting for the October 2020 update to appear, well, check it out. Maybe now it's going to be there in the optional downloads and Windows update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.